I have a ridiculously easy recipe for you today. You're gonna love it. It's a deep fried chocolate filled wonton. It's so delicious and it's really easy and you really only need about five ingredients total. I'm just whisking an egg because that's gonna seal the wontons closed. But the real piece de resistance of this recipe is some chocolate. You need three ounces of chopped chocolate. I'm using milk chocolate. You could certainly use dark chocolate, but I think there's a family friendliness to the milk chocolate, don't you? And you could even use leftover gelt if it's Hanukkah. Just make sure that when you're chopping your chocolate, you chop it fine enough that there aren't any big pointy edges because those will go right through your wrapper and tear it and then all your chocolate will leap out. And look what I have here. Here I have some wonton wrappers. You buy these in the market. They're really easy to find. You use the square ones for this. You could use round if those are the ones that you found though. Don't worry about the shape. Put a teaspoon of chocolate on one edge of a wrapper and then brush the edge. You can brush two of the edges with your egg wash. That's just your beaten egg and then fold the other edge over to enclose the chocolate. And you're practically done. Let me think about that. Make sure you press to seal really well, otherwise the chocolate will ooze out while it's cooking. Put them on a baking sheet. Just continue doing this until they're all used up. This is a fun thing for kids to help with. It's not hard. This makes about 24, so you don't need to sit here all day watching me do this, but you get the idea, right? I have some oil preheating, about two and a half cups in a small pot because they're gonna be deep fried. So you need about a little under an inch of oil in a pot. I'm just gonna use a piece of wrapper to test the oil. It should sizzle and get brown in about 15 to 20 seconds. It's sizzling, but I think it's not quite ready yet. All right, that's good. Now, as with all frying, you wanna make sure you don't crowd your pan so that they brown evenly. And I like to check the seal on each little wonton before I put it in so that the chocolate doesn't ooze out. And then just drop it into your hot oil and cook it until it's golden brown on both sides. You'll wanna turn it over about halfway through the cooking. And that shouldn't take very long because they cook super fast. They're funny, right? Look how adorable they are. I'm gonna just take my spider and weigh them down a little bit so that they cook evenly. Lift them up, tap off the excess oil and then toss them in confectioner's sugar for a little blast of sweetness. You don't want too much oil on these, but it's okay if there's a tiny bit. It helps the confectioner sugar to stick. I have a little sugar in this bowl. I'm just gonna toss them around and then sift more over the top. I like it nice and fine. And then serve these guys up. Serve them warm because that's when they're at their absolute best. And people are gonna be really impressed and they're never gonna know how easy it was. What do you think? Are you gonna make these? Are you gonna make them for Hanukkah? Make them for any time. They're literally an anytime sweet. Mmm. I don't know about you, but it's my new Hanukkah tradition.